In this first part of lesson two, we're looking at graphing and writing in interval notation inequalities. <clears throat> so we'll graph the inequality on the number line, and then we'll write it in interval notation with part A. We're given x is greater than 2. That's non-inclusive. In other words, it doesn't include the equal sign. And so far, in the examples that you've seen in your lesson, for a non-inclusive inequality, one that doesn't contain the equal sign, we can use parentheses for the endpoint. Well, I'm going to tell you another common method is to use open circles. And the open circle indicates the same thing as the parentheses, that it goes up to but does not include that actual value. So I'm going to go ahead and write out my number line for x is greater than negative 2, or x is greater than 2. I'll start here with 0. Try to get the tick marks the, the same distance apart. That doesn't have to be exact. If you have graphing paper, that would be great. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now it's greater than 2, so we know it's going to be, we're going to have a mark at 2. It can be a parenthesis, or it can be an open circle. I'm going to use an open circle. And it's greater than, so it goes to the right. And then in interval notation, we'd use parentheses because it's, it's non-inclusive. We're starting at 2, we're going to the right infinitely. So 2 infinity would be our interval notation. With part b, we're given x is less than or equal to negative 1.5. Now just like we can use an open circle or we can use a parenthesis for a non-inclusive inequality, for an inclusive inequality, one that contains the equal sign, we can use square brackets or we can use closed circles indicating that the number is part of the solution. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my number line here. Now since this is a decimal, I'm going to go, and it's, it's at a half mark. Negative 1.5 is halfway in between negative 1 and negative 2. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go in increments of 1 half. So let's let, let this be negative 1.5, then this would be negative 2, this would be negative 2.5, this would be negative 3, this would be negative 1, and this would be negative 0 0.5. And again, try to get the tick marks uh, fairly close to the same distance apart. Now since this is inclusive, again, we can use either a square bracket or we can use a closed circle. I'm going to use a closed circle. That mark will go at negative 1.5, and it's less than or equal to, so we're going to the left this time. And that would be the graph on the number line. And so since we're starting on the right and going to the left, we're coming from negative infinity. We're going to negative 1.5. And in this case, it would be a square bracket because it is inclusive. It includes the negative 1.5. Last but not least, with part C, we're given x is greater than or equal to 3 fourths. So again, I'm going to... Draw out my number line here. And since we're starting with a fourth, I'll, I'll make the tick marks in increments of one fourth. So let's say this is three fourths, this is one, this is five fourths, this would be one fourth more, which would be three halves. Go in the other direction, this would be one half, one fourth, and zero. Now again, this is inclusive. It includes the equal sign right here. So including the equal sign, we can use either square brackets or closed circles. I'm going to use closed circles again. So at x equals 3 fourths, we put a mark with a closed circle, and it's greater than or equal to. So we go to the right, and there's the graph on the number line for x is greater than or equal to 3 fourths. And we're starting on the left, and we're going to the right. The 3 fourths is included, so in interval notation, this would be... 3 fourths with a square bracket and going to the right infinitely.